up what's up it's your girl anisa j and i'm back with another video today's video as you can read by the, the title we're gonna be close and personal go ahead feel free to like comment and subscribe to my channel um i also would advise you to click the bell underneath this video if you want to be the first to receive notifications when i post videos but let's get right into it is that your cutie all into your beauty what okay so today's video as you can see by the title i do have a little notepad here because i had to take notes this video if i went into details on every little topic this video will be like part one part two part three on and on and on and so forth but so i kind of organized three main topics that we're going to be covering um, for one, I do have my before and after pictures of my skin. As you can see from looking at me now, um, how my skin is. Um, I'll be first, number one, explaining what's in the picture. Um, number two, why this happened to me? How did I get here? The process and the diagnosis of everything and how it all played out. Number three, the process of correcting um, the dark spots and everything that I had to go through to get my face here like i feel like isn't my face isn't perfect now but my skin has come a long way so i just wanted to share with you guys because people have been saying oh your skin is so flawless so this so that i just wanted you guys to know i have not always had perfect skin or good skin or mm -mm, and i still got other ways to go but i be flaunting it now honey but with no further ado let's get right into it I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. So, here you go. So, this is not just another skincare routine. Um, I will be giving you my skincare routine, routine closer to the end of the video. But, let's talk about why we're here. Like, oh my goodness. Let me breathe. Okay, so, here are my before pictures. And before you get started, oh, that's just acne. That's just, no, that is not just acne. These are, this is what it looks like when you have PCOS and your, you have, your, you have hair growing in unwanted places. It grows all over your body, on your back, your chest, your face. It grows like up under here, your chin and comes, it starts to come up here and connect like it will grow it will start here and connect like a full beard yes it will so um these are my before pictures and this was like the day of my this was the day i actually went to start my treatments but let's back back up um what's in the picture this is ingrown hairs what it looked like you, you look really closely and you can see the white speck. It's like a little white chip. Well, like I was cut. I literally was cut and bleeding and exposed to all the germs in the air. Yes. Okay, so my hair on my face will grow so, so rapidly. Like I used to um, pluck it with tweezers. That didn't work. I saw getting ingrown hairs. I would have to cut the skin to get the hair out. I'll be bleeding, swole, puffed up for days, red, skin just inflamed. Yes, it was just, it was ridiculous. It was bad. And to heal my skin, I would just not touch it to let it heal back. And then more hair and more hair and more hair would grow. Like if, if I went one day without waxing, shaving, or plucking, it would be hair everywhere everywhere okay so past that part um i started going um doing more and more research um why was this happening to me what was going on um when i was 18 i was diagnosed with pcos and that's polycystic ovarian syndrome i don't want to get too in depth on that in this video because it's a whole nother video whole nother day a whole nother time um what it is you can do a little more research on that but it's just basically um, a hormonal imbalance. Um, you also you have abnormal menstruals. Um, it causes obesity, 
acne, oily skin, um, rapid hair growth in unwanted places, yes. So literally you will grow hair in places like your face and places you don't want hair. But then where you should have hair, like on your head, it will thin out really, really bad. And it'll come and go. Like it'll thin and it'll just leave like these pictures to the side, gone. And then it'll grow back once I, I, I know how to grow hair, grow people's hair on their head. But this is not just, oh, my hair is breaking off, grow my hair back type of thing. Um, I will um, massage the area, put like hair growth oils on it, natural products, all type of stuff that's supposed to sprout hair growth. And I will get my hair to grow back and then it'll thin back out again. But it, ba it basically starts from within. It's not nothing you can do too much from the outside to get your hair to go back. But um, it's also loss of scare period, infertility. That's the number one um, main thing with PCOS. Um, depression, anxiety. Um, it also could cause type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, endometrial cancer. It's a list of things that could be going on, but like I said, it's a whole nother video. Um, number three, the process of correcting it. So, yes, 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 yes. I started to receive laser hair removal treatments. So, um, the place I go, I really don't want to mention the name because this is not a sponsored video at all, mm -hmm. but the place I um, go to because I'm still receiving my treatments um, as we speak, I go every eight weeks. And really for my face, because I've started doing treatments on other areas of my body, but for my face, I had a total of nine treatments and I'm on maybe treatment number seven, but I have um, a warranty or a lifetime commitment thing where they have going on where for a lifetime, if hair grows back, like, because I have no hair on my face, but if hair grows back, I'm able to go there and pay like a small copay and get another treatment like whenever I want. But I, I'm not complete with my nine treatments yet, so I haven't even got to that part yet. Um, so every eight weeks, I go and get another treatment and it's lesser, lesser, thinner, thinner hair and it's slower to go grow back. Um, you know the three phases, three stages of hair growth and you just have to basically let it knocking out the hair within all three stages. That's why they space it out um in eight weeks so um yeah so with the laser hair removal these are my after pictures or you can look at my face now like i've come so far dark spots little to none and hair gone hair gone um but let's talk about my homemade exfoliating cream so what i do is don't you know like the coffee um the little k-cups i put one here as well the little k-cups from when you make coffee at home you put in the little keurig machine once i get my coffee out in the morning i save those little cups open them up and use the coffee um grain to screw up my face like I mix it with any type of um, face cleanser plus coconut oil. And sometimes when I wanna do the face cleanser, I use my Dove body wash. I use that plus the coffee plus the coconut oil and I scrub my face. And that has helped good. Rinse it with, um, wash it with warm water and then rinse it with cool water. Afterwards, I um, moisturize with the coconut oil again. So I be very oily, but my face be healing you're killing dead skin. You're gonna be looking shiny and stuff all the time. But skin gonna be healthy and glowing. Um, so that just explains my homemade exfoliating scrub. It really works. It gets the dead skin off of there. And you can use it on your um, chest, your shoulders, your back, anywhere where you have acne, it works. Um, so that's one, two, and three of my process, what I use. So like I said, I will go more and more in depth on my treatments on my next video. I will be vlogging my next treatment. So you guys will be coming along with me to the um, facility where I go and get my laser hair removal and basically going through the process with your girl.
So stay tuned for that. But if you got this far into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So my oh not the infertility. So my so the laser hair removal process. It is very let me start by saying it is expensive, but it is worth it if your life has been dramatically changed by unwanted hair, you wouldn't care how much it costs because you're gonna you probably already paid half of this amount on products or think other other type of waxes. Add up your waxes for the year, add up your all the other type of services you you doing to remove your hair. I would rather just pay to go through the laser hair removal. No matter what dollar amount they got on it, I'm paying it. But it is very expensive, but it's well worth it. Um, it's painful, but it's a temporary um, pain that only lasts for a little while. Um, my skin is very sensitive, so my face swells up. And you will see when I do the vlog of the treatments or whatever when I'm in the office. My face swells up, but once I put like a little aloe vera and they have like pain medicine that kind of numbs your face down after all of that, it goes down in about 30 minutes. So I've kind of got used to it, but I've also started other parts of my body, like my underarms and so forth, but it's painful, but it's worth it. So just stay tuned because I'll be vlogging my next visit in about two weeks. So I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, those of you that know me, know this right here has really been a journey. And I have been wanting to talk about it to help other people out that's going through the same thing um, who ha probably have not been diagnosed and don't know what it is that they're going through. Um, um, but being that I was diagnosed at a younger age, I was 18, I do believe, um, being that I was diagnosed younger, I've been living and dealing with this for years. And I also um, have experienced a lot. And this has very much helped me. Help my skin. Just your value of life as a total will be changed. Like everything will be different. Um, so, yes, you guys have gotten all up in my business. But... It was a video that was well needed. I didn't say I was going to post and talk about it, but here you go. Oh, this whole video, I have not had no lip gloss on. Okay. So, you again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being supportive. So, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you are not a subscriber yet, join the family. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you'll be first notified when I post videos, um, all sorts of videos. We'll be doing um, makeup, looks, vlogs, beauty, lifestyle, inspiration, um, hacks, skincare, skincare routines, everything. So make sure you hit that bell so you'll be first notified. Share with your friends and family. And I really hope this video helps someone. Like I said, the whole purpose of this video was to raise awareness to PCOS and also to help someone on clearing their skin because like I said the coffee and the um coconut oil it really works for me um yeah if it works why try to fix it I like it and that's what I'm going to continue to use thank you thanks for supporting goodbye